Using profanity is lazy. It limits vocabulary growth. A larger than average vocabulary is required to speak with a precision and authority within and across hierarchies of value creation and value distribution. Yeah, whatever that means. Hello, Redditors of the Internet. Nobles not here, and welcome to r slash I am very smart, part 18. Let's get started. So, this next intellectual wants to imprison half the population. I think a low, I would be about 100 IQ and below. Idiots shouldn't be mindlessly walking around the streets and causing errors and everything. Lots of homeless people are standing outside without a job because they aren't intelligent enough to get one. If they got arrested, then they would be less of a problem. An idiot coworker keeps ruining things in his job? Test his IQ and arrest him. Stupid politicians? Test their IQ and arrest them if it's too low. This dude sounds like he's writing the next Black Mirror episode. Seriously, this sounds dystopian. And now we have an unpopular opinion. It's annoying when people write equals slash equals in their posts. Just take the extra two seconds and write out is not the same thing as, or is not equal to, you semi-literate Neanderthal. <laughs> I mean, not gonna lie, the insult was kind of funny. And the reply, how about writing two instead of using the number two, you quasi-literate F-head? <laughs> Never mind, the reply was way funnier. For this next one, we have an intellectual bored ape. Y'all, yeah, I'm not buying apes out of mental illness. I went to a top 15 ranked engineering school, got two degrees in astronautical engineering, two women in my life for doctors. I'm okay if it hits zero. There's a personal reason why I bought more. Now, back to these iPhone wallpapers. This dude might be making six figures and wasting it all on NFTs. <laughs> We go to the YouTube comment sections for this next one. Remember, Germany was told what its history was by those who won. It was not allowed to discuss the events of the second impact if you know your anime references. Japan and Germany, however, were allies for part of the war, and Japanese is a very unique language allowing things to be codified very well. I should say, it's closer to how language was originally. Symbols were the language and speech simply calling up the image of those symbols, which is why manga is such a popular media format in Japan and something's name is so important. You're effectively calling forth runes as an evocation. It's why many people who the Clintons try to hunt down on behalf of the British royal crown have taken a liking to Japan. Well that, and they still have their divine relics the other tribes lost. Kill a Kill was written by people who know more than a thing or two, if you know what 17 means. Same people behind Psycho Pass. I'm aware there were different studios, but that is merely a choice of clothing. Bro, what are you talking about? For those who like to explore, little explanation is necessary. Simply the knowledge that there is a place to go sends them there. Whether or not they make it largely depends upon ability, though a bit of forewarning helps. Okay, yeah, just okay. I don't even know, I'm just gonna move on. And now we have a review of a mine in North Central Washington. One star. Very dull people in place. None of my questions have been answered, even though I was trying to get hired on to become a valuable company asset for these guys, as I'm a rare human being, and I can see the gold through the earth. This dude has real life x-ray hacks, could somehow find the gold right through the earth. And now a user finds a post about themselves and doubles down in the comments. Intellectual tirade after questioning a comment. What a stupid thing to say, especially in the original and following presented context, an unmanipulated topic of discussion that are universally accepted medical facts that many in that sub were also talking about just the same. Y'all the dumbest mother effers and some loser sub commiserating in this circle, jerk. Awesome. You being dumb does not necessitate someone else's pretentious or overly lofty sense of insider knowledge, especially when just a simple, easily digestible, non-contentious presentation of facts to any half-witted person as OP and his homie above are just some whiny, entitled, argumentative, trolling little F-boys. Brigading this BS out of context in this loser sub 
It's like arguing that the sky isn't blue because it's a cloudy day, or that the sun doesn't exist because it's nighttime, etc. You're not even in the same ballpark of the conversation. Beyond that, you are factually, medically incorrect on something that is important and appreciated to that sub until this f-boy stuff came along. Oh, I love how it's posted right here on r slash I'm very smart. That just proves you're in the right place. Ah, uh, intelligence is a curse. A classic here on this subreddit. Yes, I'm frequently 5 to 10 steps ahead of my family and friends with when doing planning, activities, cooking, etc. My kids, especially my my middle one, will say, Mama, back up a step. I didn't catch one of the steps. Yeah, me too. I also have a super high IQ and I'm so intelligent that I cannot find joy in normal conversation and feel so alone. I am too smart and high intelligence and on the spectrum. It's not fun. Maybe we should wear some secret pin, bracelet, or whatever so we can recognize someone who can have deep theoretical conversations right off the bat. I think the real problem for these people is that they're struggling with their social skills, not that they're too smart. Hey, if you're enjoying this, then why not hit that like button? If you want to see more, subscribe and hit that little notification bell, and comment if you have something on your mind. For this next one, I never said that, skull emojis. The intellectual starts us off, I usually like jokes. I did not like one particular joke. Do you like every joke you hear? I am indeed smarter than you think. I have a PhD in physics from an institution ranked in the top five in the world. I am a good public speaker. I was on TV several times and I work as a professor. I have also got good social skills. I'm definitely not the nerd type. Bragging about this stuff just shows how smart you are indeed, smart in quotes. R slash I'm very smart. I never said that. That is your conclusion. You said I am indeed smarter than you think. Also, I never claimed to have said that. For this next one, they're a genius. And uh, not to sound r slash I'm very smart here, but he got a mistake in the title. I have a higher IQ than you would expect, even considering I'm smarter than a lot of people in my school. Okay? These people think they're so smart because they're smarter than everyone in their school, but then they meet actual geniuses and they're completely outmatched. This next one is tagged as talented and gifted. Excuse me or excuse you? Learn to read what exactly? I'm a writer, have a degree in English literature from a top flight private school and attended one of the top private law schools in the country. In fifth grade, I was reading at the 12th grade level and had been tagged as talented and gifted. So, what exactly is your problem, besides being overly vague and having bad manners? And now, no way this is real. When I was a little kid, I was really scared of the dark. But then I came to understand, dark just means the absence of photons in the visible wavelength 400 to 700 nanometers. Then I thought, well, it's really silly to be afraid of a lack of photons. Then I wasn't afraid of the dark anymore after that. Elon Musk. Wait, did Elon Musk actually say that? Oh shit, I found a video. He actually did. Bruh. For this next one, well, I guess y'all will be seeing me on the hub. Hello there! Unfortunately, there are some bad news for you. Around several months ago, I have obtained access to your devices that you were using to browse internet. Subsequently, I have proceeded with tracking down internet activities of yours. Below is a sequence of past events. In the past, I've bought access from hackers to numerous email accounts. Today, that is a very straightforward task that can be done online. Clearly, I have effortlessly logged into the email account of yours. A week after that, I've managed to install Trojan Virus to operating systems of all your devices that are used for email access. How does that work? I don't know. Hacks and stuff. Actually, that was quite simple, because you were clicking the links in inbox emails. All smart things are quite straightforward. The software of mine allows me to access to all controllers in your devices, such as video camera, microphone, and keyboard. I have managed to download all your personal data as well as web browsing history and photos to my servers. I can access all messengers of yours as well as emails, social networks, contacts list, and even chat history. My virus unceasingly refreshes its signature since it is driver-based and hereby stays invisible for your antivirus. So by now, you should already understand the reason why I remained unnoticed until this very moment. 
while collecting your information, I have found out that you are also a huge fan of websites for adults. You truly enjoy checking out such websites and watching dirty videos while having a lot of fun. I've recorded several kinky scenes of yours and montaged some videos where you are clearly having a lot of fun. Passionately, in fact. If you still doubt my serious intentions, it only takes a couple mouse clicks to share your videos with your friends, relatives, and even colleagues. It is also not a problem for me to allow these vids for public access as well. I truly believe you would not want this to occur. Understanding how special are the videos you love watching, you are clearly aware of that. All that stuff can result in a real disaster for you. Let's resolve it like this. All you need is $1,750 transferred to my account, Bitcoin equivalent based on exchange rate during your transfer, and after the transaction is successful, I will proceed to delete all that kinky stuff without delay. Afterwards, we can pretend that we've never met before. I mean, we never actually did. It's such an obvious scam here. In addition, I assure you that all the harmful software will be deleted from all your devices. Be sure I keep my my promises. This is quite a fair deal with a low price, more like a scam, bearing in mind that I've spent a lot of effort to go through your profile and traffic for a long period. If you are unaware on how to buy and send bitcoins, it can easily be fixed by searching all related information online. By the way, here's my bitcoin wallet. You are given not more than 48 hours after you have opened this email, two days to be precise. Below is a list of actions that you should not attempt doing. Do not attempt to reply to my email. The email in your inbox was created by me altogether with the return address. Do not attempt to call police or any other security services. Moreover, don't even think of sharing sharing this with friends of yours. Once I find that out, make no doubt about it, I can do that effortlessly, bearing in mind that I have full control over all your systems. The video of yours will become available to the public immediately. Do not attempt to search for me. There's completely no point in that. All cryptocurrency transactions remain anonymous at all times. Do not attempt reinstalling the OS on devices of yours or get rid of them. It's meaningless too, because all your videos are already available at remote servers. Below are the list of things you don't need to be concerned about. That I will not receive the money you transferred. Don't you worry, I can still track it after the transaction is successfully completed because I still monitor your activities. Trojan virus of mine includes a remote control option, just like TeamViewer. That I will still make videos available to the public after your money transfer is complete. Believe me, it is meaningless for me to keep on making your life complicated. If I indeed wanted to make it happen, it would happen a long time ago. Everything will be carried out based on fairness. Before I forget, moving forward, try not to get involved in this kind of situation anymore. An advice from me, regularly change all the passwords to your accounts. And holy shit, looks like people got scammed because three transactions were made for a total of over $3,000. Be careful out there. Don't give any of these people money. For this next one, let people have a little fun. This person is too smart to play a little game as a distraction to delayed flights. They instead like to stay online and show off their intellect on Facebook. Airline staff came up with a creative way to distract passengers from a flight delay, with a toilet paper race laughing. Meanwhile, the intellectual has no time for such entertainment. Small things obviously entertain very small minds. I can think of so many other things I could do to entertain myself other than unrolling a toilet paper roll with a plane full of passengers. The intelligence levels in our society are so obviously plummeting. Maybe it's a result of the brain shrinking we've been told a certain disease causes. Looks like there's evidence of that right there. Wow, you're obviously a barrel of laughs at parties. This has nothing to do with intelligence and everything to do with finding fun in the little things. Kudos to the airline staff for keeping the passengers happy in what could have been a very stressful situation for all involved. As I said before, small things amuse small minds, rolls eyes. The fact that you think this is a quote fun thing to do and that it kept passengers quote happy says it all. You see, I prefer more mentally stimulating activities, such as bragging about my intelligence on Facebook. This next one is about Hollywood action movies. The US are literally calling out India as well, so I'm not sure what you're talking about with it only China. It lacks the verge and vigor. 
the virgin vigor, is that some knockoff of the Fast and Furious or something? Hollywood action movies is the wrong place to learn proper English language and grammar. Old English novels and plays will give you a better range and variety of the English language to express and elaborate your thoughts and feelings. Yet I don't see you speaking in Old English. Checkmate, intellectual. For this next one, I'm very smart because I don't think cute dogs are cute. Wow, the cutest doggo I've ever seen. Love it. Um, excuse me, it's cutest. New to superlatives in English? If not, I don't believe you for a second. You can be emotional and logical at the same time. In my opinion, you could have simply said, wow, one of the cutest doggos, though I sincerely disagree with this variation of the word dog. And now their multiple degrees are just too intimidating. Buddy asks me if I'm educated and then gets mad when I show him I am. Laughing emoji. This is exactly why I didn't say multiple from the start, because it intimidates guys like you to try to insult me when you realize you're actually talking to someone who have proven they are smart enough and diligent enough at attaining information to possess multiple degrees, a feat I'm guessing you don't have since you went from asking if I was educated to, you might have multiple, but it doesn't mean you're worth it. Don't be mad that I'm intelligent and put in hard work to attain the things I have in life. Again, I laugh at people like you. Any more jokes? I actually asked your age, LMAO. You really don't have good reading comprehension. And the Duke of Orange says this dude is so intelligent they wrote that whole thing as a single sentence. Peak intelligence right there. As you see, intellectuals have no need for things like full stops. For the true intellectual keeps on going. For this next one, engineering is for real men. Sociology is for those who found out they were weak in math, physics, and chemistry in high school. Sit into my engineering classes and learn what real men studies. For this next one, if you're over 40 and you haven't read Harry Potter, you have a low IQ. If you are under 40 years old and you haven't read the Harry Potter book series, then you are an idiot. I don't think you need a particularly high IQ to read Harry Potter, but that's just my opinion. An idiot, in this sense, being someone with a significantly lower than average IQ. So if you haven't read the books, then it means either, one, you can't read, unless you are blind, that makes you an idiot, and find me a smart blind person who hasn't listened to the audiobooks, I dare you. Two, you watched the films and didn't like them, so you didn't read the books either, despite almost everyone telling you that the films don't represent the books you have still stuck by the opinion you formed when you watch the films. You are an idiot. Three, you had other books to read. No books in the last hundred years have had the impact the Harry Potter books had on the entire world. To choose to remain ignorant of such an important piece of human culture is the epitome of idiot. Really? That's a bold claim right there. Four, you tried to read the books but started with the fourth one and didn't enjoy it. Why would you start with the fourth book? That makes no sense. Only an idiot would start reading a book series from the fourth book. Five, you don't read books ever. That's fine, but when you take an IQ test, we all know what the result is gonna be. This is merely a hypothesis of mine, but so far it has been accurate. I used a free online IQ test on those I have checked, so I know it's not super valid, but it is still fun. I have told a few people about this in the past, and they all get angry at me, but first I persuade them to just ask people if they read the Harry Potter books, and after a few days, people always come back to me like, damn, it seems true, it's always the idiots that haven't. No offense to any idiots out there. Yeah, no offense. For this next one, just get a six-figure income like this guy and stop crying. Your response is precisely the reason that nobody takes this sub seriously. You're an absolute joke who has terrible sports opinions, LMAO, and you will always be unhappy working your bottom-of-the-barrel job. Go get a proper education like I did and get a six-figure job post-graduation and stop crying about not being able to afford a home when you're just lazy. Wow, not a drop of empathy in this one. And now, hope you empty husks enjoy this. Sapiosexuality isn't just not dating idiots, it's actually relatively close to asexuality, since if someone doesn't have any intellectual or cognitive value present, I just see them as an empty husk. Which just makes them sad and depressing for me, as does falling in love with someone just because they stimulate your hypothalamus. And the reply, I'm not a psychiatrist, but the way you dehumanize people who are less intelligent than you seems concerning. I get that's only for sexual relationships, so you should be more selective, but looking at another human being as an empty husk of a person can't be healthy. 
I feel like there's no way that doesn't negatively impact interpersonal relationships. But of course, the intellectual just had to reply. I actually did study psychology, and not only is it unhealthy to weaponize psychology since it should be used as a tool to help everyone instead of diminishing your opponents, but humanity is also de-evolving, and the world may soon become uninhabitable. And if I can't do anything to stop that, I'll do everything I can to see that humanity can survive it. I've even studied the problems with the education system and how it can be fixed. I just have yet to figure out how to implement my plans on a geopolitical level. If the general public isn't smarter than me by the time I die, then I have failed as a human being. Imagine thinking you can solve the world's problems by yourself. Just haven't figured out that geopolitical scale yet. For this next one, books and education are tattoos of questionable arctic value thinking. Yes or no? What's your opinion on this tattoo? Tell me what you think. Since you've asked, you'd be well advised to forget about the tattoo and spend the money on books instead. Shut up, boomer! Dear baby girl, my opinion has been asked for, so I've given it. Who's asked for yours? The essence of my argument is obvious to all those who can read. I will simplify this to you. It's a better idea to spend money on books and education rather than on tattoos of questionable artistic value. Now, what's the essence of your argument? Maybe this. I don't know how to respond, but I can always be rude and vulgar. Well, you've succeeded admirably, baby girl. And finally, can you define the baby boomer generation without looking it up online? Can you specify when that generation was born? I'm asking because there are decades between me and that generation. It's also sad, little baby girl, that you equate another difficult word for you, education, erudition, and books in general with boomers. For you, I would have to name a series from Netflix and TikTok, right? TikTok has series? Keep living your life the way you want, don't give unsolicited comments to people you don't know, and generally, have more respect. And now, a user's intelligence makes them a social pariah. Anyone feel like the PhD path has rendered you incompatible with society at large? I feel this all the time. Like, the way you're taught to think about problems is completely different from how most other people think about them. So you either have to give up your way of thinking or become a social pariah. The words you use, the frameworks you seek, just the way you see the world is totally incompatible with how most others do. Again, it's a social skill problem, not an intelligence problem. For this next one, sure buddy, you're a child prodigy, me as a child prodigy, oh no, anyways, continues to show adults how egotistical they are when it comes to being older than children and judging their intellect solely based on that one fact, while you yourself try to show off your intelligence online. And now we have a galaxy-brained Brit who has something to say. Why is British slash UK rap so bad? Rap cannot be considered a musical form of expression. It's just obscene chanting of nursery rhyme couplets whilst twitching arms, as if in an apoplectic fit to the accompaniment of a monotonous synthetic drum beat. All right, intellectual Quarren, you personally not enjoying something does not make it objectively bad. For this next one, this is a kid's channel, what do they expect? To be honest, this is very far from accurate. IQ doesn't correlate to ability to win kids' games, it's your overall brain capacity and intelligence. I mean, at least this one recognizes that IQ isn't everything. And for this last one, who's Rick and Morty? Our perceived material environment may, at the fundamental scale, simply be a latent femtotechnological mind with a neural oscillation wavelength very near the singularity beyond Planck frequency, at least relative to our extremely low frequency brain waves. This might be the dumbest Rick and Morty super fan meaningless pile of BS word salad I've ever read, LMFAO. Who's Rick and Morty? I'll check it out. Thanks for the recommendation. Did I use too big of words for you to understand? I'll try to explain it like you're five. All right, simple-minded individuals, this is the end of this video. I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Spoonie the Rogue, Benjamin's Nightcrawler, Catalan Cormendi, Bacon Cannon, or Jury of Jubilantly Juggling Juries. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.